Welcome to this ultrasound tutorial on the urinary tract. We will demonstrate a technique for imaging the kidneys and the bladder, stopping along the way to point out the relevant anatomy and provide useful technical tips. Let's start with the left kidney. First, place the probe in the lateral aspect of the left flank. Orientate the probe in the long axis of the kidney. With the left kidney in view, we first adjust the gain and then adjust the focus to optimize image quality. We will now freeze the image and illustrate the relevant anatomy. The renal pelvis is seen as a central, branching, hypoechoic structure. The echogenic sinus fat can be seen centrally. The most superficial layer is the renal cortex, within which the medullary pyramids are seen. Superior to the left kidney is the spleen, as shown here. Let us now return to the examination. We will assess the full volume of the kidney by scanning back and forth, rocking the probe as shown. With the probe along the kidney's central long axis, freeze the image to obtain a measurement of renal length. The calipers are used to make this measurement from the tip of the upper pole to the tip of the lower pole. Having saved this image, we will now assess the kidney in the transverse section. Rotate the probe anticlockwise through 90 degrees. Assess the whole volume of the kidney. As demonstrated here, you may need to both angle and slide the probe. Throughout the assessment, remember to take representative images of the kidneys. We will now scan the right kidney in a similar manner. With the probe placed in the right flank, scan the kidney in the long axis. The anatomy of the kidney is demonstrated. Of note, the liver lies superior to the right kidney. The difficulty in obtaining adequate ultrasound images can vary greatly from patient to patient. If either kidney is obscured by the ribs, ask the patient to elevate their arm above their head or roll onto their side. Held inspiration is another manoeuvre that may help reposition the kidney. Once again, rotate the probe 90 degrees anti-clockwise to assess the kidney in its axial plane. During the examination of the kidney, be watchful for signs of the common pathologies. For example, a dilated pelvis and clubbed calyces indicate the presence of hydronephrosis. Renal calculi are evidenced by hyperechoic foci with posterior acoustic shadowing, while renal cysts are hypoechoic rounded structures found in the corticomedullary region. Having thoroughly examined both kidneys, we can now move on to the bladder. We start with the probe in the transverse section. The bladder should be fully distended with urine to facilitate evaluation of its wall. You may need to angle the probe under the pubic bone to fully assess the lower portion of the bladder. During this part of the examination, be alert for signs of bladder malignancy, such as a thickened, irregular bladder wall. Rotating the probe 90 degrees clockwise will image the bladder in its long axis. Remember to sweep out past the lateral walls of the bladder. This concludes the assessment of the urinary bladder. Throughout this video we have demonstrated the technique for ultrasound assessment of the urinary tract, highlighting the relevant anatomy and pathology along the way. This should provide the basis for you to practice and perfect your own method.